Welcome to the American River in Sacramento, California. The American River is home to many species of wildlife. Every fall, the river fills with adult Chinook salmon returning all the way from the ocean to spawn. Recently, there have been a lot of salmon population declines for a variety of reasons in California. Issues like dams, loss of habitat, climate change, and drought are making it harder for salmon to survive in California. My research is really focused on the early life stages, looking at how different water quality issues like temperature or dissolved oxygen affects their survival and their development. We've really focused on doing these studies in the laboratory where we can get eggs from the hatchery and bring them back. What we still don't know is how uh, wild salmon embryos actually are reacting to water quality when there are a whole variety of variables in their environment. Although we can see adult salmon and we can see the juvenile salmon because they swim and they move, uh, it's really hard to study salmon eggs because they're buried in the gravel. And so we can't study them when they're in their nests, otherwise we risk damaging them. Instead, we are creating our own salmon nests so we don't disturb wild ones. We start at the Nimbus fish hatchery where they spawn adult Chinook salmon. We carefully sort 16,000 eggs into tubes. These tubes will keep the eggs secure while they are in the river during the study. Next, we carry the eggs to our sites on the American River, where we dig artificial salmon nests and habitat where salmon spawn naturally. We place the tubes of eggs into the artificial nests and bury them in the gravel. We leave them to develop in the nest like wild salmon eggs would. In the meantime, we visit the nests where our eggs are buried every week and measure the water conditions above and within the nest. We collect data on the water conditions such as the water temperature, the amount of dissolved oxygen, the water depth, and the water flow around the nests. After about one month, the eggs will hatch and we will dig them up from the gravel. Then we will count and measure the young salmon that successfully survived and hatched. We can compare the survival of the eggs in each nest to the water quality conditions we measured during their development to see which factors had the greatest influence on salmon survival. With this data, we can create water management plans that will promote the survival of wild salmon embryos. Ultimately, this will help salmon populations in California by giving the early life stages a better chance at survival so that they may return to this river as adults to spawn again.